Hello and welcome to the second episode of Senioritis v. 2024. Here we have a couple extra people here today. We're joined by Mike O'Leary, Jack Hello. Regan, and Quinn Graham. So guys, uh, last time we kind of touched up, it was more so like an intro episode. We kind of ta tapped into like what senior year is like, what it's going to be like, talk, talking about like colleges and stuff. Does anybody want to fill in like any progress made on college applications? I know early action's kind of closing in. Mm. That November 1st deadline is not looking fun. <laughs> Who here is stressed about that? I know I am. Yeah, for yeah. sure. I had my first deadline, I had my first deadline it's October 15th for University Ooh. of South Carolina. Um, so I submitted that yesterday, so that's good, but still just a lot of stuff to do, a lot of supplementals to get mm. through. Um, yeah, does anyone have any colleges they're looking at that are like particularly annoying with their supplementals? Uh, I know I was going to apply to Emerson for early action, but I didn't realize I had a supplemental. So I'm either going to push that back to regular decision or I'm just going to have to suck it up and just write that supplemental. Yeah. Um, I purposefully picked colleges that I knew weren't going to be a pain to apply to because, you know, I kind of was just like, let's just get this over with. I'll figure out where I'm going um, mm -hmm. once I get all the applications in. Yeah. I know we talked about it a little bit, like you guys talked a little bit last week. Does anyone's, like, opinions on what schools they want to go to, like, they're favoring more over the others they're applying to? I haven't changed yet. Uh, I applied to Fitchburg, so I got one out of the way. Yeah. I kind of am leaning more towards BU now. Nice. I just really like all the programs, and I really love the location. Yeah. And I'm starting to favor Wentworth more, since I also love the location and all the programs there. Like the city campus, Urban Field? Yeah. Nice. I'm in the same boat as Mike there. Nice. I was going to say, I second that Wentworth, because I feel like last time my uh, main choice would have been like Wentworth, just because mm. like they're colleges of the Fenway program. So I'm right now, that's my main focus as well. Nice. The only school I'm applying to in Massachusetts is Suffolk, but that's a similar vibe of like the city is your campus. Yeah. Um, it's definitely an interesting college experience. Mm. Yeah. I think Suffolk has way too small of a campus. I can never do that. Yeah. I've um I've been on Suffolk campus um a little bit. It's it's pretty small. It's mostly like inside buildings, but yeah. the classrooms are very nice. Um yeah. I got a good look at the science lab. I don't know, um because my aunt was a chemistry professor there. Yeah. Oh nice. Um I also got a look at the business program. I'm not interested in business, but yeah. I, it was a really cool like program. Yeah, it's interesting. It's like definitely there's there's no campus. Yeah. It's just buildings, and so you'd have to be okay with like branching off mm -hmm. and doing other things other than just from the school but it's nice to be in boston it's close to home yeah i agree mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i can agree all right now going back to uh our school like classes wise do you guys have any like classes that are starting to realize like okay yeah this is kind of difficult calculus but, yeah i feel that do you want to expand on that uh so we're preparing for our first unit test that will be on monday and let's just say it's a lot of studying that I don't want to do, but yep. there's just a lot of content I have to cover. And I don't fully comprehend all of it, but by the time Monday comes around, I'm going to have to. Uh, how are you feeling about that test? I'm a little iffy on it, mm. but like you say, you just got to study. Yeah. You're, you're going to have to do it eventually, so just got to study through it. Yeah. yeah. Well, what Chris, about you? Are you taking both AP Stats and AP Calc? Yeah. So what does the workload for that look like? Because I know AP Stats, there's a little bit of studying you have to do. It's honestly not horrible because I don't really mind doing math, but I feel like quizzes and tests, they kind of like line up pretty often. Like if today wasn't a day one, we would have had our calc test today. And we also had our AP Stats test today. And so, yeah, I kind of, I feel like the quiz or I don't know what they're called. What is it called? Like the how the classes are like oriented or structured. Like they kind of just line up on the same days. But yeah. Yeah. To make a long answer short, it's not horrible. Yeah. Mm. Nice. I know uh, Quinn, you also are doubling up if you want. Oh, you are? Yeah, I'm doubled up as well. I, um, I agree with Chris. Uh, both classes, I mean, if you're like, in, if you like math, like I'm sure most of the people that are taking those classes are math brained. Um, it's a good amount of work. There's a lot of studying that goes into every individual subject. It's very in-depth. Um, stats is definitely more different from the kind of math that you're used to doing. It's a lot more vocabulary and m more like 
logic skills rather than like actual numbers, which is where calculus is. Mm. Nice. Are any, anyone taking other any APs other than AP stats or calc? I know you and I are both in the same environmental class. Yes. How do you feel about that? Um, honestly, I I like it. It feels pretty easy um, compared to having just having like physics, which is like more math, and mm. then like chemistry, which is a whole. It felt like learning a whole new thing. It feels pretty easy compared to the to two of those so far. Um, and also, I find it much more interesting. But I'm also not a huge science person. Um, so that could be part of it. Um, what are your thoughts? I really like how we can apply what we learn from environmental science to the real world since we've already done labs, like two of them so far. Yeah. For our first lab, we went outside and we just counted how many trees in our area was infected with the beech leaf disease. Yeah. I just love how we learn about these things all throughout high school, but we could never really apply it. Yeah. But environmental science, you can. Especially with physics, like you don't like, it's not something that you like think about every day. Yeah. You can't just like launch a rocket. Yeah. How about you guys? The <laughs> only other AP I'm taking is um, computer science, which is another math one. Nice. So kind of in the same vein. Nice. nice. That's that's awesome. Yeah, I'm taking that uh, computer science class as well. We're in the same class. Yeah. But um, also another one. I mean, the three of us are in it. But um, AP Lit. Mm. Yeah. Which is a. Um, I feel like it's just an extension of the one we took last year. Especially because um, it's the same teacher. Yeah, yeah, I agree. It just kind of feels like a pretty smooth continuation if yeah. you ask me but I like it I enjoy it hmm. yeah the only uh, other AP class I'm in other than AP I'm in CSP which you took last year yes is AP psych which is definitely the class I've had to study the most for um, compared to anything else because it's like a whole new it's a whole new like topic that I've never like explored before like it's like a social science and so it's like yeah. so different from like taking a push last year which I know we all took mm -hmm. um, or something that's like it's just very different. I actually was going to take psych because I find it very interesting, but I ended up swapping it for stats because I figured it would work better for what I want to study for college. So mm. it stinks, but maybe in college I'll do some psychology courses. It looks fun. Yeah. yeah. A lot of reading from what I've heard. Yeah, um, definitely. But like, I don't know, reading isn't like the worst part of it. And there's a lot of, um, he has a good job with, there's a lot of like, Busy work, which I usually hate for other classes, but they're busy work that have like good, like a lot of points to it. So you can like do poorly or not as well as you wanted to on a test and have like a ton of assignments in there mm. that aren't like just one point assignments or like 30 point assignments, which is really helpful. Yeah, it's kind of the opposite with calc. Yeah. It's like all or nothing, like quizzes and stuff, but yeah. mm -hmm. it is what it is. All right, anyway. Going back to um, more topics, we have a, uh, I believe a show is coming up recently, or s sometime soon, in November, right yes. Jack? I know you're a part of um, that. So Radium Girls is coming to AHS um, on November 16th and 17th. Um, it's super interesting, it's about, um, if you're into like, it's a cool story, it's a real story, but it's about um, these girls who, um, were like working in a factory and they were using paint that was made of radium and it was like poison it was like whatever damaging them so it's all about that and following the case on that it's really interesting um the actors are doing a really good job um i am co-stage managers with molly joyce um it's awesome it's gonna be a great show um november 16th and 17th so go see it mark the date yep mm -hmm. yeah that's really cool i can't wait to go see it it looks really nice yeah it's gonna be fun hmm. Now, is this like a longer one, or would you say this is on the short? So, side? this is a two-act, um, but I think it's like 90 minutes in total, so it's not crazy, crazy long. It's not like a musical, which is much longer if you guys want to carry or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, but then we're super excited. Um, in the spring, they're doing Beauty and the Beast, which okay. should be oh, really wow. exciting. It's a, it's a big one. It's going to be super fun. A um, lot of work, but it'll be really fun. Um, it'll be a cool send-off for the seniors. Exactly. It's a, it's a fun, like, senior show to do, so it'll be cool. Yeah. Nice. Is anyone else part of any other like clubs at the school? <laughs> yeah, yeah we're we could talk about the um, robotics club. That yeah. Recently is that new in. this year? You guys brought? Are you guys bringing that in? Yes. yes. Nice. I forget if we talked about it last week, but it doesn't really matter. We can bring it up again. Um, the robotics club, I believe, Mike, you have hold a pretty high position up there. Yeah. Um, if you want to talk a little bit about that. Sure. So it's ran like a startup company. So instead of having like president, and vice president, there's like CEO, COO. So I hold the CEO, COO position. So I just manage 
stuff I help Sean out, which is the president slash CEO. And we just run trying to teach 3D modeling, 3D printing, and just how to program stuff and make robots and have fun. What's your biggest challenge you guys face when, like, A, because this was a new club you started this year, right? Yes. In terms of, like, materials, classroom settings with Mr. Foley? Yes. What are some of the challenges you guys are facing starting this new club up? One of the biggest problems that I've faced so far is getting people engaged. We can usually, like, get people there, but it's hard to get stuff off of the ground since, A, not everyone knows what they're doing exactly, and B, it's hard when there's only so many people that know what they're doing to yeah. be able to divide and conquer and teach everyone everything. And especially because it's so new, it's kind of just like literally starting from scratch. So you're literally setting the foundation. So it's just like, gotta work your way up. Yeah. Well, but it's really cool you guys are doing that because that's a good opportunity for students. I know you guys probably wish you had that your freshman year. So it's yeah. really good that other <laughs> students coming up will have that resource, um, especially for kids who want to look into doing robotics, something like that, as a career um, in the future. A mm. really good resource yeah. to have. It is. Agreed. All right. With that, does anybody have any extra tidbit of information they want to add? Extra stuff they had on their mind? Well, I know that there's going to be two trips this year, two or three, uh, throughout the high school. Oh, yeah, the international trips? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I know there is a... Belize trip. Are you going on that, Jack? I am not going on the Belize trip or the other one. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Did you go on one last year? No, I um my family has been doing like traveling whatever outside, okay. especially now with colleges, we needed like April vacation open. Okay. To like so when I ex hopefully accepted um to go tour places just cuz I'm yes. looking at some places that are on like the west coast, um southern like um the south just to have to fly to those places, so we need that chunk of time to be able to go oh, visit nice. those. Well, yeah. there's the Belize trip, there's the international trip, which as of, I think, today I'm going on, which is oh, Germany, Italy, and Switzerland. And then there's a band trip, we're not sure exactly, it's either going to be Boston Day Trips or a New York City trip, like last year. Which would be awesome. I know, I loved that the New York, year. New York trip was really fun. So much to see. Boston I see all the time. So yeah. I'd, I'd rather be in New York. I feel like those are two completely different, like... Yeah. It's like, oh, Boston trip. And it's like, oh, New York trip. All right. Yeah. 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 I think the reasoning behind it is because they want to save up money. I don't think it's next year, but the year after, they want to try to do Disney. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. So it's kind of hard to do, like, all these trips, especially after COVID, since it used to be, I believe, New York City, D.C., New York City again, and then Disney with a four-year rotation. Mm -hmm. And it's just after COVID, trying to get up in that cycle again is kind of difficult. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. I get right. that. But exposing kids to the culture in New York is just awesome. It was a super, super cool experience. Um, I think I think it'll be. There's so much more to see. Hopefully, Agreed. you go this year. Yeah. yeah, I'd love to go to New York. Yeah. I haven't been there yet personally, except for just driving by after mm. driving from yeah. Florida. But yeah. you were in the art class that would be able to go on that trip, correct? Yes. So if there's a New York trip, there's a possibility I might go. Nice. Who knows? That sounds fun. Yeah. All right. Well, with that, if you guys want to kind of wrap it up, I think that's all yeah. we have to talk about today. And um, that basically wraps it up for Senioritis Episode 2 now, uh, version 2024. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.